Hello there, and welcome to another Armanus update. Now, what I'm going to show you in this video is my new castle that you see all around me. Unfortunately, the, the castle that I was building in previous videos, through a misclick error, was deleted, which for me was a horrible mishap. I, it, it was so, it was so sad. It was so, it, I, I need, I just need, I just need a second. <laughs> anyway, anyway, okay, okay, I got, I, okay, I'm okay. Okay, but that was like, that was a good 25 hours into that castle lost, and it was a tragedy. But out of the ashes, a phoenix has arisen. And now, we're going to take a look around castle build number two with all improvements that I learned from the previous game, and a lot of cool-looking contraptions, if I do say so myself, that we have implemented. Okay, let's get started. Now, first thing you'll notice is my hands in the way, let's move that, is I've made my walls bigger and beefier, three layers thick, all the way around, solid stone solid stone and by the way when I say bigger I mean bigger the courtyard for the old one was much smaller and I am very much happier with the larger area to work in in here I'm really gonna be able to make a RP a functional castle now to go over some of the rules for people who might know not know with me I am preparing for survival mode that means as much as possible any contraptions that I build that have a function they must be functional they must be useful and they must be runnable from the ground or, and or without flight mode whenever possible because we will not have that in survival mode also although I will not be working with voxels because say in space engineer survival mode it generally didn't spend a lot of time trying to terraform an asteroid to make an asteroid base if you were making asteroid base you just you didn't do that it took a quite a while with the hand drill and even with a drill ship it was generally not worth it you worked with the space you have so that's what I'm doing there is a spot over here as I was painting this soiled farmland where things got a little out of hand and I'm still trying to get this lowered and leveled down and I'll work on that some later but no voxels as much as possible we will not be like I said, we, things have to be runnable without flight mode, and also, um, this is not a necessary thing, but I feel like ropes are going to be fixed. See how this clips through the ground a little bit, so I do kind of need to move that. Well, ropes don't care. They will go through stone, they will go through wood, they will stay straight, and as much as possible I'm trying to avoid that. I could have run this wheel directly to that wheel, and the game wouldn't have cared that it was going straight through this wall it would have looked weird. So this is how that is going to go. Now on to the walls. Very simple wall, it's wood topped all the way around. Wooden stairs, because why would you drag up stone to build these stairs when you could just drag up some lumber and make it a lot easier on yourself and your workers. We do have stone towers all the way around. One thing to note if you are going to try and build like this, the wooden floors the wooden railings kind of buggy right now case in point um, uh, here's where a tower is going to go just a little side point case in point I absolutely cannot put a wood floor in this spot it will it will tear this tower down it will well won't, maybe not completely tear it down um, there were only a couple of times it did and when I say a couple of times maybe that doesn't sound like a lot but I've rebuilt this tower almost a dozen times. It was it was getting very frustrating. Um, at this point, I know if I put the wood block down, it will destroy at least this stone block underneath it. And getting that out, and getting the debris out, and taking it all apart so that I can get the debris out and putting it back together, it's, it's just something I, I'm, I'm done doing. I don't want to anymore. You might notice also here there's no wood rail here. Uh, this wood rail was also glitching out this tower. There was also a staircase with a railing over in this corner to get up to the top here without having to use the tower. It was also glitching out the tower and causing it to come crumbling down. So, 
small concession for the physics that are having some issue right now. But I'm fine with that. And it does go all the way around. On our inner wall, two layers thick, this is where the castle keep is going to go. Right about center, just something, it's going to be something I'm trying to, I'm going to try and make large and imposing. Probably going to spend a lot of time detailing it and making making it look as good as I can. That's probably going to be the biggest project of any house in here. Now, we did manage to build a drawbridge, as, you, as you've seen. I've been wanting to build one for a while. And as per my rule, you can work it from the ground, which is exactly what I wanted. And it makes me happy. Kind of, kind of be gentle. Did I just hear a thud? I just heard a thud. You might notice it is not straight up and down. It does have a blocker. That is because these drawbridge walls you need to be careful with. If it's standing straight up on the axle, it'll balance itself and it will no longer fall down so easy. You'd have to push it. And for something like that, it could be a pain in the butt. I could probably come up with some sort of system where it pulls itself up and pulls itself back down. But that's more trouble than it's worth. It's easier just to make a stopper. Now, you've already seen the windmill. There's no functionality on the inside. It's just it's just a windmill, which this entire building doesn't really have much of a function because wind is not powering it. There's a rotor in the middle moving the blades. So, But it looks nice. I feel it looks great. Got a small barn over here for the farmland. This will probably be some grazing hill. This will this will probably end up getting fenced off, or, or or maybe this area over in the back here for for the farmer's cattle. And maybe we'll build a larger barn in back. Maybe a you know a sort of milking house sort of thing. Uh, and as you guys know, I like working with strange contraptions. So for the fun of it, we have a latching gate. You can open that up. You can open the door up it's a little finicky to do you just kind of got to bounce it a little, a little bit and and i and it doesn't really have a use it's far too bulky to really be realistic but it was fun and i like it and it, it at least works you can get on the inside you can't open the oh you can't open the door <laughs> okay well um that's gonna need a little bit of work but it's an easy fix it does have a latch and the latch is close enough to done I'll probably just extend these a little bit, put a stopper, a more wall in the middle of this door so that uh, it has something to brace itself up against. Anyway, we have the double gatehouse, which from the front, I feel, looks amazing with our portcullis doors. We do have more portcullis doors, again on this one. Um, I just like the look of them. I like the feel of them more than the drawbridge, necessarily, and there's no moats anyway, so... So it's good. I like it. All of our mechanisms, it's very simple me mechanism. Three drums, connected on ropes, yet again, not going through the ground. Going down to the gates, uh, main turn wheel. And I do prefer uh, using the turn wheels in third person mode. It just works better. It hits the ground with a nice, a nice satisfying thud. Yet again, encased with wood, top, bottom, and sides, so that it doesn't break anything. One thing to note about these portcullis doors, because they're so large and heavy, you do want to be careful lifting them. I'm going to be torquing these down a little bit so that I don't have to just ease it up like this. I can just hold it, but that's a project for later, and I will get that updated in the next castle update. Over here we have an elevator. This is workable from the handle at the bottom here, as you can see. It is workable from a handle at the top, as you can see, is run up there, and also, and this took a while to figure out so that it is functional, so that it's workable, so that it's survival ready, and the ropes don't go through anything, it is workable from the handle on the platform. It still needs a little work in that respect before I'm ready to, like, make a video just specifically on the workings of this elevator, which I do plan to do. You can see it comes up a little strange. There's a lot of friction with the gears and whatnot. Still still very much in the experimental phase, but maybe it's not the smoothest, but you do have a ride to the top, and you can walk right off, and that is a great way to get things up and down the wall. You can have people sending it up and down. I, I am very happy with how this came out. Not 100% done, but we will be working on it. 
and I will be releasing a video specifically on this. And if I get ambitious, I might even cut out the walls around it so I can copy and paste just this to make it a workshop item. We'll see. Over here, if you've seen in my previous videos, you've seen this ballista design. This is the top part of my ballista, slightly reworked. It is mounted on a catch block, as you can see through this window. It does rotate. The rotating mechanism still, as well, needs a little work. All this is work in progress, but I can, if I'm gentle enough, rotate it left and right. Both of these rope drums on either side are connected, as you can see, by the ropes running across the bottom. And it is aimable. It is fireable. We will be building another one on the other side. We did manage during the stream to get this tweaked and working to be able to fire. As you can see, we've got some of the uh, ballista arms and pieces and bits and bob off in the distance a little bit. It is not the longest firing item, longest range firing item, but as far as protecting the front and protecting the gate, it will work very well as far as I'm, I am concerned. Now, so this is my new castle. These are the new workings. I am very much enjoying the contraptions. Probably next we're going to start thinking about uh, barbarians, how to defend against them, um, beyond having crazy thick walls and crazy thick port portcullis storage. You might remember my old one was one layer thick. This one's three. Beefy as heck. If you've played around with barbarians, it, then you would know it would take them a little while, to say the least, to chop through that. But anyway, this video is getting long enough. I have... Oh, what is going on here? Apparently I have broken my wall, and that will get fixed. It's kind of bad that I... Well, I'm not going to remake a video just because I found one little spot. You find little spots like that all over the place. Playing with structural integrity has its own challenges, which is why I play with it on at all times. Not just because I feel like that's going to be a survival mode staple, but because of the challenge. And to get things working, and working properly, and having to deal with the fact that sometimes things are going to blow up. Like this ballista. I have no idea. I can't even count the amount of times it's blo it blew itself up as we were tweaking it up on top here. But anyway, this video has most definitely gone on long enough. And I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you enjoyed the new castle. And I very much hope you tune in to see more updates um, after I do some more work on this today. Thank you very much for stopping in. I've been Armanis, and I hope you have a wonderful day.